Well, happy 4th, the 5th, 3rd. It's the 3rd of July, but uh, by the time you see this, probably the 4th of July or possibly the 5th. And um, I know some of you are angry and upset at the world. Well, not at the world, at Nike. And at Colin Kaepernick, once again. And you're wanting to swear off Nike and all that stuff. But before you get too carried away with running your day, running your weekend, and annoying all the people on Facebook, ask yourself a simple question. How much of this is actually true? And how much of this is made up by the marketing department at Nike? Now I know what you're saying, Don. Why would Nike make this stuff up? Because we're all talking about them once again. Just like when they signed Colin Kaepernick, they knew what they were getting into. Yes, us old people are angry and we're... Well, I never actually owned any Nike stuff. I haven't owned a pair of Nike shoes in 15, 20 years. I'm an Adidas guy, but that's not the point. Um, yes, all us old people are getting angry at Nike, but you got a whole young generation of kids. And as I talked about on another past episode, which I'll link to up here somewhere, um, young kids like to rebel. They need something to rebel about. Young kids have expendable income, and young kids have always been Nike's core demographic. And so, we haven't been talking much about Nike or Colin Kaepernick in a while, and so why not fabricate a lie about some make-believe Betsy Ross shoes that you know damn well Nike was never ever going to produce to begin with. They probably have like a Photoshop demo somewhere. But make up the story and fabricate it and put it out there right before 4th of July so that everybody has Nike on their, in their mouth the next four or five days let's get the nike train going again let's get that talk so that uh, these young rebellious kids who are looking for people to rebel against like their parents and the system and the establishment imagine that we are now considered the establishment um, that and people a little bit older than us but still i mean i just hit 41 and so definitely 15 16 17 year old kids look at me like i'm some old fuck and so they are going to rebel and go out and buy more nike shit so the more we complain about Nike being horrible people because of Colin Kaepernick and this make-believe story. I'm sorry, I do not believe that they were ever going to put out anything remotely patriotic as far as clothing or even a shoe like this. I think the whole thing's made up. And now, for those of you who want to stick it to Nike, before you go out and burn all your Nike apparel and replace it with a Hurley shirt, Nike owns them too. Um, so go ahead and Google all the apparel companies that Nike has bought out and you will see that if you truly want to stick it to Nike there's gonna be a long list of shit that you can no longer wear or purchase so keep that in mind and if you want to support a patriotic fella and a nice company you could go to d-410.com and buy some of my wares I love America but anyhow don't get caught up in this Colin Kaepernick bullshit don't believe for a minute that Nike was ever even considering putting out a pair of shoes that had anything to do with the American flag on it. We all know that's Converse is Rome. Converse has beat them to the punch. They've been doing it for years and years and years. Maybe I think Nike may have put a red, white, and blue shoe out a few times, but they probably never have or never will actually have anything with American flag print. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, please post a comment below with a hyperlink to uh, some Nike patriotic apparel, and we'll see. It's probably from the 60s. But anyhow, don't buy into it. It's just all well-placed, well-written marketing. Have a happy 4th of July. Spend time with your families. Do this. It's 2019. You want to stick it to the establishment? Put an American flag on the side of your house. Have a good one. Oh, I don't want to How cool is that? Ooh. Ooh. Now clearly, they're not original. They're stickered too. They got the damn Surgeon General warning. But these are actually retail stickers that are meant to go on the windows of the gas stations and the stores. And I got them off eBay, all three of them. $12 including shipping. Ah.